time, but I just want to be able to talk to you guys, get things going in the right direction is always a plus. Yes, yes, indeed. It's always a plus talking about Cowboys. It's early in the morning, um, but I just want to say this before I run off to work. This is what I like. This is what I like. I know I'm kind of late to the punch, but this is what I like. Remember during the offseason, well, it still is the offseason, but remember when I said earlier, we must start the fight. I'm tired of all of the, the shirts that says finish the fight. I was telling everybody before, we must start the fight, and this is what I like. I like the aspect of Taco Charlton. He's getting bigger. He's stronger. He's no soft taco no more. He's a crunchy taco at this point. He also has Taco Supreme on his, uh, <laughs> his, his username. But what I'm saying is collectively, what I'm saying is that this guy, although Lyle Collins threw him down on the ground, he got back up, got into the face, and that is what I like to see, guys. When you have the ability to say to yourself, I'm not just going to lay down like a rug. I'm going to stand up, step up, get ready to fight. And this is what I like, guys. I do know for sure. One thing I can say that this team, all the doubters, all the naysayers, everybody who's putting us under the bus and we are flying under the radar, this Chris Richard, if anything we can just take back from this day altogether or these last few weeks and what we can see with our eyes, is that Chris Richard is elevating everybody. And then on top of that, this is another thing that I love the fact that we are fighting now, that now that the team, everybody is focused, everybody is trying to say to themselves, our particular group is good, like the Hot Boys. Shout out to the Hot Boys. And then the DB got their own name. I forgot the name of their clique. And then we have uh, the offensive linemen. They got their clique. Everybody banded together. And and then on top of that, I do know that everybody's still doubting Dak Prescott and everybody talking about this interception that Byron Jones threw. Don't miss the meat worrying about the peas. This is what you can take a look at that play. There was a safety over the top. We saw that. This is this, that's uh, uh, my my guy number twenty five, Xavier Woods. He 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 was going to lay the wood, so he didn't want to kill the guy in that aspect. And then on top of that, Byron Jones. This wasn't a tip ball. This was an interception naturally caught by himself, meaning that he was playing physical. If I can get up, he was playing physical, man to man, all up in the mix. Make, making sure that he goes nowhere. And I like this, guys. I, I, I like the way that you're using Byron Jones' physical traits that God gave him. You are, he's able to jam the guy. He's able to play up front. He's able to play up close on that line. And what that does, it changes perception and the mindset of the quarterback. Saying that now... I can't wait till this receiver run his natural route. I have to, I have to telegraph my play, or I have to put my, <laughs> my my pass right on the money because I got a guy that's six foot one, six foot two, however however tall Byron Jones is, and he's sneaky fast. He's strong, and everybody got a little chip on their shoulder. Guys, they are trying to start the fight, not just finish the fight. Start the fight, keep fighting, and then finish the fight. I want to be able to say, finish him. <laughs> I know you guys want to say that too. Finish him. Because this is what this team needs to do. A focused mind. I always talk about a focused mind, a determination, a person with a determined will. It can outperform a lazy man, a guy that with, with a spoon. It is not a spoon. It's a fork. But look, this is a comb. A guy with a spoon that have a determined mind can dig a ditch faster than a lazy man can with a crane. <laughs> it took me forever to get that out this morning. Didn't have my cup of coffee, but I really, really thank you guys before I run off into work because I love you guys. You know I got to talk cowboys. You cut me right now, I will bleed silver and blue. You guys know how that go, but this is the thing that this team must do from here on out. We have to battle this other battle. It's called the war of attrition. And I feel deep down in my heart that this kid that's going, not going to be able to play this year is going to elevate somebody else. And the kid that I'm talking about is the, uh, the Boise State guy, Cedric Wilson. Uh, I, I was really leaning on to him, seeing what he can do. Um, hopefully, I don't know if they can still slide him to the practice squad because he's, he got a, uh, a torn labrum. 
and and you just don't wake up and say okay coach i'm ready to go after that i think it's going to require surgery i think that uh it, it may be a chance and opportunity for these uh other guys to come up and step up and be up it's going to be one of those things man but uh with all that being said go cowboys hey if you guys never seen me before if if, if this is your first time uh, make sure you like this page um i got cowboys content left and right shout out to phantom shout out to silver and blue nation my god big game james um and also uh shout out to ebsn online and the dallas prospect every legend was once a prospect just keep that in mind we try to go live uh i know for sure i try to go live every day monday through friday i'm gonna try to give you guys the the most of my um, of my opportunity of my mind right and uh and we're gonna try to get this thing on and popping but i gotta get ready to get back to my um my day job right <laughs> but i love you all and uh if you like this page don't forget to uh join the notification squad because there's no telling when this brother from another mother i don't look like danny glover go live like 95 there's no telling when i go live and um also um hit the share button that's the best thing you can do for me too <laughs> you share this content throughout the masses let's go cowboy let's get lit let's get ready that's all the time i have for this morning i guess and remember oh i forgot i thank you guys for yours and remember you're listening to nothing but the best salute i'm out let's go ahead and uh <laughs> it's too early for me to jam out to this music but let's peace let's jam out to this way Thank <laughs> you.